Oh, is that a new edge? Sure is a nice strong bicep you got there, sir. And it was a scorcher out today, guys. I don't know if you saw, but the heat index today in Texas. Or German propaganda. Very cool. An emu ostrich and Rhea cookbook. Ooh, fighting with the baby, fighting with the baby. And now I'm going to sing Rick and Morty to them until they eat it all. And little Bing Bong here still has a crooked neck. The weave deworm poppy. I've gone ahead and released her back into her little hole. As you can see, this is where she lives. Well, if you guys have ever wondered, this is Poppy and she lives under my barn. She's an adorable little mom. And I believe that she's got some babies under there somewhere. Cause I know that she's got, whenever I was deworming her, she had a big old, big old milk sack. She has a very large milk sack. I don't know if any of her babies survived. I know that she was pregnant a while ago. But we've gone ahead and dewormed her and given her plenty of food. If she does still have some babies, we'll see. But I know that she's got a large, Today we got a heat advisory warning. Uh, the UV index is real high, meaning that today it's about 100 something degrees with the heat index for about 108, 110. So old Uncle Ben's out here watering the animals. As you saw, I just released Poppy back onto the farm. She's dewormed and ready to go. And like I said, it's very, very hot today and some of these guys aren't used to that. So I'm gonna go ahead and water them off a little bit. I'm gonna water off the baby a little bit. Ooh, he hopping, he hopping. He hopping. But he appreciates this. Even though he doesn't look like he appreciates it, he does. I'm gonna make it rain a little bit on Karen and Kevin here. No, they don't really mind that at all. They actually seem to enjoy it. That guy might even just make it rain on us. <laughs> but as I said, guys, it's a scorcher. So I make sure we have extra plenty of water for all these animals. Hey, how about we go ahead and fill up this old guy? Very nice, very nice. You're welcome, Olive. Poppy is back where she belongs and- Whoa, is that a new egg? No, it's an old egg. It's an old egg that I'm using as a prop for TikToks. But Karen, we'll start laying again, I believe, in November. I'll put that egg there so it doesn't explode in the sun. Hey, Kevin, I'm also gonna go ahead and put Olive in this little mud pit because this is what they like to do in the wild whenever it's real, real hot. They like to crawl around in their mud pit. You wanna let them soak for just a little bit. That water's pretty hot though. Put her in this old guy because this water's a little bit cool. Back she goes. But it's definitely a scorcher today, but boy, do I have an exciting video for you guys. We're gonna go ahead and give all these dietary supplements that these little- Kevin, what? You don't want me touching the top of your head, King? If you come back, I'll do it again, Kevin. Told you guys, therapy has been working. Just gonna go ahead and close him in this little yard for now. I am going to be treating each and every one of these adorable little ducks that we got. The call ducks don't really need any treatment, but all these other guys, we're gonna be giving a lot of supplements today and that should be helping them a ton. But first I have to drop off all the international orders and the more recent orders for the babies. Love you guys, appreciate you, thank you. All right, that's the last of the international ones. Thank you guys so much. And just a little reminder. Profit from all of these is going straight to the renovations on the new place and setting up and fixing the barn uh, for the new place in Waco for the wildlife rehab and the farm sanctuary. So thank you guys so much. We are very, very close to hitting our goal. And we're almost sold out of all these old guys. So thank you so much. I also picked up some fan mail while I was there. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not going to stab all your packages this time. This time, all I'm going to do is snap. Oh, quite the strange uh, group of things we got. Here's two frogs. Uh, this one was 3D printed. I've never seen this species before. And this one's got Minecraft on the bottom. We got some snacks for Pogger. An emu ostrich and Rhea cookbook. This may come in handy. <laughs> oh, Kevin, would you like to be a Salisbury steak? <laughs> Kevin, why are you hiding? Look, this is delicious. This incredibly based Alex Jones mug from one of my more enlightened followers. <laughs> oh, the perpetual lemon tree plate. An H-E-B sunscreen fanny pack. Sus Kevin shirt with old Uncle Ben with, oh, that's very lovely. <laughs> I'm gonna wear this to the gym. Whoa, some base DeWalt glasses and some more wildlife handling gloves. Thank you guys, love you, appreciate you. <laughs> now that I have three pairs of these, this is perfect for uh, whenever we start getting volunteers out and once they start going through training. A nice fan for the bus and some uh, some giblets. This is the soldier fly larva that I have growing in my thing that I have in the big tub. I'll show you that later in the video. You can tell this is the same stuff. I, can, I'll, I recognize those little gibbets anywhere. More German propaganda, very cool. I will come visit sometime again. Old Uncle Ben went to... Uh, I did actually live in Alexander Platz for a little bit. We also got some more of these rubber buckets, which we can never get enough of, some zip ties, and a picture of someone's cat.
Never mind, we have four of these. So please stop sending them to me. Uh, we're gonna be good on these for now. Also to all you guys that send me these letters, I love you and I appreciate you. Thank you guys so much for sending me all this stuff. Love you and I appreciate you. But when it comes to what we need right now, it's really just capital to fundraise and grow the ranch in Waco so we can start getting practicing wildlife rehab. I lowered the price on these guys because I wanna go ahead and get rid of them and, and I wanna just start focusing on the GoFundMe for now so we can fundraise for the new barn and the wildlife rehab facility. Uh, in Waco. Thank you guys so much for sending me some letters and encouragements and to our Jehovah's Witness friends that sent me some watchtower resources. Love you. Appreciate you. Thank you for sending me this. I'm very familiar with it. I would love to send you these books on basic biblical Greek so you could compare for yourself the difference between what's in the watchtower series and the original manuscripts. Okay, come on in. I'm gonna show you guys what I do to take care of these guys whenever they're malnourished. As you guys saw in the last couple videos, you saw that these little ducks were being fed dog food mainly for about a month and a half. Hey, Kevin, what are you doing, buddy? Today, we're gonna to make a little concoction for them with a bunch of different little rooster booster, different poultry amino acids, with all kinds of different little vitamins and minerals that are great for bone growth and healing. We even have probiotics, some natural forage like crickets, and of course, the soldier fly larva that we just got. And for Morgan, who I'm starting to suspect has gizzard worms, and that may be why he's limping, I'm going to go ahead and give him a little bit of a dewormer. Yes, believe it or not, ducks and geese can get worms and all kinds of worms. So we're gonna make sure that they are completely fine because we are bringing them into a new flock here and we wanna make sure that they don't make the other flock members sick. So we're gonna be putting everybody on a nice new diet with good probiotics, good dewormers, and a lot of healthy little things to help their bones heal and grow with restricted mobility. Oh. I'm also gonna dump this water out as well. Thanks again to you guys for sending us this in the fan mail. This has been one of the nicest things. It is so, so easy to drain. After this, I'm gonna put the rest of that hay in here as well to make it a lot more comfortable for them to walk on. Okay, as you can see, Morgan is still favoring that left leg there. And little Bing Bong here still has a crooked neck. Well, for the next few days, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna be giving them all of these different little things and a nice little hodgepodge milkshake per what the requirements are in the container. And I've been holding back on giving them a lot of the other food, mainly because I really want them to eat this food. And I also want them to get back to a normal weight because some of them are overfed and they've been given way too many calories. Look at how that little guy with the terrible legs is already doing a great job of standing up straight and walking around. That's literally just from two to three days with giving him the right diet, the right atmosphere and restricted mobility. And now I'm going to sing Rick and Morty to them until they eat it all. Hey, found this neat little spider in this bucket with all my things. All right, let's say we check on those ducks and see how they're doing eating their supplements. <laughs> hey, Kevin, how are you today, buddy? I'm just gonna give you a little pat on the head gently. Oh, hey, poggers. Excuse me, sir. I'm just gonna go ahead and move past you here. Okay. Kevin, you don't seem to be very happy. What are you do? What are you doing, sir? Sir, found out if I can just grip the top of his head very gently. He's not gonna get super angry and try to kill me or he can't bite me. And then all I have to do is just kind of yeet my way in through this gate and close the door. Oh, that didn't really work. I'm right, just gonna kind of yeet your head again, sir. I'm just gonna gently put my hand on top of it. I like to do this while I'm wearing my Crocs. It's a nice and cool evening from a real hot day. <laughs> and it was a scorcher out today, guys. I don't know if you saw, but the heat index today in Texas, this was the hottest day that we've had in a long time. All right, buddy, let's go. No. no, no, keep moving. They did get into it, but they didn't eat all of it. Hello, Mr. DeBaby. How are you doing on this fine evening, my beautiful little handsome man? That sure is a nice strong bicep you got there, sir. Look at all these little guys swimming in here. Looks like Morgan's foot is getting a little bit better, but uh, a lot of people have been saying in the last video that it's probably just something in the hip. I'm going to go ahead and feel the joints and the hip bones and then see if we can figure out what the real issue is. Most of the local vets here in the city said, no, we will not see a goose. Surprise, surprise. But I do have a friend in Waco that can see just about anything. Also, I just saw Poggers tackle Darcidius, so I'm starting to think that maybe... Oh my gosh. Hey, 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 no. No, King. No. King, that isn't you. That's not like you, King. Yeah, Poggers just ran over Darcidius, so I'm starting to think that may be why Morgan's got a little bit of a limp. It probably is just a sprain or something. If you guys wonder, I'm not, I'm holding him as gently as I possibly can. I'm barely even gripping him. It's just enough for him to get kind of freaked out and, and lose motor skills. This really was all I needed to do this whole time was just, ooh, oh, never mind. Just gently put my hand on top of his head and then he can't really do anything. It doesn't make him less aggressive though. Honestly, it might just kind of upset him even more. You can get a real nice up close look at him. Look at those 
beautiful feet. Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful animal this man is. I also got word that my also got word that my friends and neighbors went ahead and uh, trapped a mama raccoon and then went ahead and euthanized it or released it very far away. And now there are babies around. Oh, fighting with the baby, fighting with the baby. And now it's babies are kind of crawling around. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna set a trap and see if we can get one. I have seen one or two of them walking around here. The only thing that's concerning is that they said that the uh, mother had swollen nipple. So I assume that she was nursing. I don't know if the baby's old enough yet or not, but I went ahead and set a trap there. I set a trap over there, and I set another trap over there behind the barn. So we're going to see tomorrow morning if we can get one of those little guys. Thanks so much for watching. I love you. Appreciate you. And <gasps>